Hello everybody, this is Bram here. Today, I have a kill counter tutorial for you, the using your servers, and yeah, it's a really useful kill counter, only six commands, and the best part is, it's an item kill counter, it's not XP. So if you're using XP in your server, no need to worry about it because you, you can use the items as well. And this is pretty much foolproof by what I've tested, so if there's a problem, let me know, but I tested it and it should be foolproof, pretty much. But it still works like the XP1 closest player to it, so if you kill it and somebody's closer, they're gonna get the kill. That's just standard with all kill counters in the Bedrock Edition, so yeah. But before I start this video, please leave a like, and please subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a video. And yeah, let's get started on this tutorial. Okay guys, so the way this works is that there's an item in my inventory, right? I move it and it will just instantly be put back after two seconds. And the reason it's on two seconds is because I can switch my hotbar without it glitching back. It does it every so often, once or twice, but sometimes it doesn't. And then when I do this, and then when I throw it, my kills are at four, right? If I throw it, it's still going to stay at four. Like, it, you can't... Yeah. And then when I kill my, my dude over here, I get the kill. And... Is pretty amazing you know and when he tries to throw it right here nobody's kill is gonna go up so right now he's just throwing it and nobody's kill is going up so that's the nice thing about this and now I'm at six kills and I kill him one more time and here you go I can do this as well Hugged him, and it worked. So, yeah, this is a very useful system, guys. And make sure to keep inventories on. <laughs> just just a heads up on that one. So I'm going to get my guy out because I don't really need him anymore. And it's making my computer blow up. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to show you how to make this right now. Okay. So the first command. It's repeat unconditional always active at 40 ticks. Make sure it's 40 ticks, which is two seconds. And then it's replace item entity at all players. Slot.inventory8, barrier with a quantity of 1, data type of 0. So what it means by slot.inventory8 is you're replacing the item inventory in, an item in your inventory with a slot of 8. So this is 8 right here. So 1, or 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's 8 right there. So it just constantly does that every 2 seconds. The next one is... Chain unconditional, always active, at 39 ticks. Make sure it's 39 ticks. Just do the exact same thing, 40 ticks and 39 ticks. And then clear at a barrier. Simple, it clears all the barriers from everybody's inventory. So that way, you can't get multiple. The next one is what you get for the kill. It's like the kill counter section. That one is just so it puts the, um, this one just puts that in your inventory right there. Yeah. This one is repeat unconditional always active at zero ticks and it's execute at e type equals item name equals barrier tilde 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 and then it's clear at the closest player barrier zero zero so it's testing to see if you have a barrier in your inventory if you're the closest one to the barrier if that makes sense so and then if you have a different name change the name and the um yeah that simple Okay, and the next one is chain conditional, or chain conditional, make sure it's conditional, always active zero ticks, and that's execute at e type equals item, name equals barrier, tilde tilde tilde, scoreboard players add at p kills equals one. So you're adding um, the scoreboard of one kill to the closest player of the item. That's what that means. Pause it if you need to um, copy it, I should say. And the next one is just um, chain conditional always active zero ticks. Make sure it's conditional. And it's kill at E type equals item name equals barrier. So, you know, it kills all the um, stuff. And there you go. All the barriers. All, all items on the ground that name barrier. Okay. And then the last one is basically killing the item if it's close to you. And, you know, it's not going to work because you don't have... Um, a barrier in your inventory, you know. So what it is, is it's repeat, unconditional, always active, zero ticks, 
And this is so you can't throw it and duplicate a bunch of kills. So, yeah. And then it's execute at... Okay, yeah, yeah, wait. So, repeat unconditional always active zero ticks. And then it's execute at all players. Tilde, tilde, tilde. Kill at E. Type equals item. Name equals barrier. With a radius of two. So, yeah, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. And please subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a video. And, yeah, this is a really simple kill counter, as you can see, six commands, and it's very useful, because I know a lot of servers that use XP for their servers, so making it an item kill counter instead of XP, you can use it for so much more things, so, yeah, this is a very useful kill counter, so, yeah, just, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for all the support I've been getting re recently, I... Just hit a thousand subs a few days ago, as you can see in the 1,000 sub special I posted yesterday, so I'm filming this on Wednesday. <laughs> so, yeah, just thank you guys, and, yeah, please leave a like and subscribe, and this has been Bram, and I'm out!